Fishing, Phishing, Malwares, Trojans, Tactics and Data Breaches Hey friends, welcome to the channel, your friend Ali here. Watching 6th episode of Cyber Talks with Ali. Let's get started. Join NATO Intel Sharing Cyber Defense Hub. Well, the Ukraine is yet to become a member of North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is NATO. The country has been accepted as a contributing participant to the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence, which is a NATO accredited cyber defense hub that member nations uses for research, training, and exercises covering several areas, including technology, strategy, operation, and law. Although this does not make Ukraine to NATO member, it will likely tighten collaboration and allow to gain access to NATO member nations, cyber expertise, and share it with own. The director of NATO, Jack, said Ukraine's presence in the center will enhance the exchange of cyber expertise between Ukraine and Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence. Hackers to leak 190 GB of Samsung data, source code, and many more. The lapses which we have discussed recently in the news, Data Extortion Group leaked a huge collection of confidential data. They claim to be from a South Korean chain consumer company called Samsung Electronics. The leak comes less than a week after Lapsus released a 20 GB document archive from the 1 TBF data stolen from the NVIDIA GPU designers. The gang teases Samsung data leak by posting a note the extortion gang teased about the releasing Samsung data with a snapshot of C and C++ directories in the Samsung software. Here's the bad news for Russia. Microsoft suspends all new sales in Russia. Microsoft announced it will stop all new sales of services and products in Russia in response to Russia's unjustified, unprovoked, and unlawful evasion of Ukraine. Microsoft President and Vice Chair Broad Smith said that Microsoft has announced a suspended all the new sales and of Microsoft products and services in Russia. In addition, Microsoft is uh, coordinating closely and working in a lockstep with the governments of uh, UK, US and European Union and stopping many accepts of business in Russia and compliance with the government. Charities aid hogs in Ukraine were attacked with the malware. Charities and non-governmental organizations providing critical support in Ukraine are targeted in malware attacks, aiming to disrupt their operations and relief efforts in seeking to assist those affected by Russia war. Amazon has detected these attacks while working with the employees in, of NGOs, charities and aid organizations, including UNICEF, UNHCR, World Food Program, Red Cross, and Save the Children. Amazon said, while we are seeing an increase in the activity of Malaysia's state actors, also higher, higher operational tempo by the other Malaysia's actors. Russia to block access to Facebook, Twitter, foreign news outlets. Russia has blocked access to the Facebook social network after Meta. Facebook's parent company deactivated or restricted access to account belonging media outlets and news agencies including RIA, Sputnik and Russia Today. After this article was published, Russia has now also blocked access to Twitter following a demand made by the Prosecutor General Officer on Feb 24. Twitter said on Feb 26 that platform was being restricted for some people in Russia and that they are working to keep the service as safe and accessible. Russia-Ukraine war exploited as a lure of for malware distribution. As Russia and Ukraine war created a high tempo in the world, threat actors are distributing malware using phishing themes related to evasion of Ukraine, aiming to infect their targets with the remote access trojans such as Agent Tesla and Remcos. It is a common for malware distributor to take advantage of trending global events to trick the recipients into opening email attachments and at this time there is a nothing more closely watched than Russia's evasion of Ukraine. 
Using this theme, threat actors are sending malicious email that install rats on the targeted system to gain remote access, steal sensitive information, conduct network reconnaissance, and disable security software. Massive Mary's botnet embeds ransomware note from Reveal. Notes rating to tank targeted companies' stock prices were embedded into DDoS ransomware attacks as a string of text directed to CEOs and WebOps geeks in the URL. As you can see, hey WebOps geeks, you are already dead, a note climbing to be left by the Reveal ransomware gang, declared embedded into the attack itself as a string of text in the URL for the extortion of demands. Impova reported the interesting twist on Friday. One of several it's seen in the evaluation of distributed denial of services attack so far this year. In the post that detailed mitigations of the recent attack that hit up a 2.5 MRPS millions of requests per second on the single website, Impor was nearly shared several chest thumbing ransom notes, a screen capture of this one of the included that is targeted customer received before that attack started. Free Hamatic Ransomware Decryptor Release A free decryptor is out to unlock ransomware found piggy banking on Hamatic Viper data malware that EZ and Symantec discovered targeting machines at a financial, defense, aviation and IT services outfits in Ukraine. The fact that they were ransomware cleansing to data wiping malware didn't surprise cybersecurity experts, of course. It was predicted by director of Intel Red Cranberry for on one she tweeted that there was a very likely a border of intrusion shine. Okay, that's it for the today. Hope you guys love this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more updates. See you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.